Hey guys, this is TK. In this demonstration, I'm going to configure uh, Cisco AnyConnect with digital certificates. I have a Windows 7 workstation here with Cisco AnyConnect client, which will make a call to a uh, uh, call to uh, Cisco ASA 5520, which will be configured to authenticate the the client uh, through digital certificates. And once the uh, this the, the the communication is successful, uh, the the VPN server, the Cisco ASA 5520 is going to assign an IP address from that IP pool 192.168.251 range to to the client, and uh, then client should be able to uh, connect to uh, uh, through the VPN to the local network. I'm going to use Microsoft Certificate Server, and first thing I need is uh, uh, first of all I'm configuring this uh, ASA through ASDM. And first thing I need uh, to do is to configure certificates uh, in this ASA. Uh, and I need two certificates. Uh, I need a CA certificate and then I need an identity certificate. Um, for CA certificate, I'm going to download it through, uh, through the web. Uh, and I'm going to HTTP into the certificate server and download the CA certificate. I'm going to install this in my uh, desktop, and then I'm going to add this to uh, to the ASA through ASDM. Okay, and then once we install uh, the CA certificate, and the next thing we need to do is to install an identity certificate for this ASA. Uh, I'm going to do a, a manual enrollment for that, and its enrollment mode is uh, manual. And I'm just use, uh, I'm just going to use the fully uh, qualified domain name here, uh, and let me do an add certificate here and then save this enrollment request to uh, to my desktop say name it as ASA 5520 uh, enrollment okay and then I'm going to using my certificate server I'm going to generate a certificate an identity certificate for this uh, for this ASA uh, what I'll do is let me transfer that enrollment request to to ASA uh, to I'm sorry to the to the certificate server and generate a certificate Okay, so you see this in the pending request. So I'm going to issue this certificate and go to issued certificates and I'm going to export this to to a file. I'll name this as ASA cert. Save it in my desktop. And let me transfer this file. And now I should be able to install this into uh, to ASA. Okay, so now we have a certificate, uh, certificate authorities 
uh, uh, certificate, CS certificate, and also an individual identity certificate uh, from that CA to this ASA 5520, both installed. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to configure any connect. Uh, for that, let me go back to remote access VPN, network client access. I'm going to use this uh, default web VPN group uh, profile and uh, I'm going to enable this. put this image as my any connect image and enable the default web VPN uh, group and also just need to do some modification here uh, you see that on the default web VPN group the the default authentication is a triple A I'm going to change this to certificate here. All right. So now you see that authentication method is certificate. Uh, the group policy that uh, we are using is default group policy. Uh, I need to uh, set up that uh, IP pool for the uh, uh, for the client. So let me set that up. And let me put the start address Okay, once I have that set up, let me go to group policies and uh, modify that group policy which is uh, associated with this default web B, uh, with VPN uh, connection. So let me go to group policies, default group policy, set up the address pools over here, assign. No, I don't need IP second L two T P. I'll pretty much use defaults for this demonstration. Let me apply this. Okay, so the ASA is ready uh, for the uh, for any connect uh, with uh, digital certificates. Uh, next, let me go to the client and also the client. Uh, I need to install both CA certificate and also uh, identity certificate. Let's first, let me download the CA certificate. Let me install this to my desktop. Okay. The client we we are, we are using a Microsoft Management Control uh, Console. This is uh, something to note that uh, you have these several options for uh, certificates. Cisco AnyConnect uh, client by default pull uh, by default pull the certificate from the user account. Uh, so far, I was unsuccessful to configure it using the computer account. Uh, but uh, if there's uh, if somebody knows how to do that, please leave a comment uh, how to do so. But so far, uh, in my testing, I was able to. Uh, successfully authenticate the user 
only using the uh, the user account, not through a computer account. So let me add that to the snapping, and I'll go to my personal. Uh, first, I'll uh, install that certificate. this CA certificate into my trusted root certificates okay so it's there and then uh, I need to uh, request Uh, identity certificate just like we did for ASA I'll use friendly name Cisco and the common name here yeah, Cisco this is for testing and the key usage I'll use it I'll uh, assign it for digital signatures And this file, I need to send it to. Uh, let's see if I can do like this. Let me send this to the certificate server through the host machine. And just like in the previous task, we need to generate a certificate to the client. So I should have this in the pending. We'll just show this. Should have it issued. So let me export this now. okay so now let me install this uh, certificate to uh, to personal certificates on the current user okay so basically uh, we, uh, in the client uh, we install uh, the identity certificate and also CA certificate okay so now we are ready to make a uh, any connect connection so let me the IP address is 192.168.250.20 have this advance and have this lock going on ok 
Okay, let me quickly check this. I need to enable it in my interface, so let me apply that. Clear this. Okay, so like you see this uh, that I was able to successfully uh, connect to uh, ASA through uh, any connect using the digital certificates and if I go to uh, statistics I see that I received the first IP address uh, from that pool 192.168.251 uh, in this pool and uh, also if I go to monitoring let me go to VPN then sessions and you can connect client sessions uh, you see that uh, it's the username comes up as unknown uh, that's because we just use certificates to uh, connect uh, to uh, to ASA uh, so we can go a little bit further uh, from from this configuration to a two-factor configuration a two-factor authentication where we can um, uh, ask user to use both uh, the certificate and uh, AAA and I'm going to use local uh, username and the password username and password database uh, so let's try that so let me disconnect here let me connect I think I forgot to apply that. Yeah, I forgot to apply that. Let me disconnect again. You see that now it's using both certificate and username and the password. So So now if I go back to my VPN sessions, you see that it uh, comes up as um, Cisco, the username. And also this uh, session was authenticated through certificates. So basically this is a two-factor authentication. Uh, thank you.